No, 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 no! The Beatle Man here, and it seems that there's a possibility that the Beatle has a concept and could return soon. Just a couple days ago, Volkswagen just announced a new partnership that they're doing with the film, and this was revealed, and there's even a real concept. So, let's jump right into it. Let's go and let's find all the information. Uh, let me share all the info. Okay. So, let's jump right into it so that we can. Let's, so, let's jump right into it and see all the new information that there's out. So it turns out that Volkswagen, Zag Media One, Kids and Family, I hope I read that right, have signed a partnership with Volkswagen for a new film that is apparently part of a French animated series, Miraculous. Now, this isn't the first partnership Volkswagen has done since the change in direction. They have partnered before with Marvel for Ant-Man and with Star Wars for some other commercial thing. So this is not the first partnership they have done since the new management that has to do with films. This team up supports Volkswagen's approach to become a love brand once again as they have said in the previous events. So that's something nice to see that they're going back into you know being part of the culture and stuff. Movie characters of this film will drive cars of the Volkswagen all-electric ID family. It kind of reminds me of how VW has been part of uh, I don't know, some series before, like Transformers, you know, that very famous robot nobody knows, Bumblebee. He used to transform in a Beetle on the G1 series and did so back in 2018. Kind of reminds me. I just wish they did that again so that Bumblebee could transform into an actual Beetle. Anyways, so let, let me tell you about the film and what I've found out so far. Apparently, this film called Ladybug and Cat Noir is part of a French animated series called Miraculous, which has become a global pop culture phenomenon over the last couple of years as a series. It has 7.6 stars on IMDb, which is surprisingly high. The family film with a runtime of 1 hour and 45 minutes is set to premiere on theaters worldwide on July 5th, 2023, and set to release on Netflix on July 28th, 2023. So now let's talk about the vehicle's exposure on the film. Apparently, they will be very involved in the story as in what has been said many meaningful ways on the poster we can see that there are four cars which are displayed we have the id vision which will be with a character apparently called gabriel agreste the volkswagen id buzz will be a bakery delivery vehicle and the two main characters will drive flagship vehicles like cat noir will drive the id4 and ladybug will drive the electric beetle concept kind of kind of fitting for the bug thing <laughs> to be honest. It has been said on the official newsroom that she's a symbol of female empowerment, which I don't mind, but I just hope that this vehicle isn't marketed as a woman's car, as it seemed to be with the new Beetle. And I mean, that, that really turned off a lot of people, including myself. So now let's talk about the vehicle itself. It is worth noting that this is a concept vehicle. So we really have no idea if this is the actual thing or even close to the actual thing we'll get. Like we literally have no idea if they're even going to produce it, this thing. So here, take the, all these things with a grain of salt, a huge grain of salt. Here you go. Take that grain of salt with you as we discuss this. So, not a lot can be seen from the leaked scenes from the f from the movie. And some posters we can see some interesting and at times odd design choices. So, let's start from the inside out. So, for starters, very little can be seen from the interior. But from the poster we can see that the interior is going to be a beige color on this specific one. And it indeed has four seats, which is great. They are clearly seen there. And we can also see that from this leaked scene right here in many places. So it's very nice that there are four seats. We can also see that there seems to be a lot of space between the seats. Unlike the Beetle A5, which had very small spaces between the seats, this has the front seats moved further forward which maybe will give more leg room and make the vehicle more comfortable. It could be, could be not. Like I said, this is a concept, so we never know. Very little can be seen from the dash, so it's hard to tell to which Beetle it's calling back to, if it's calling back to the classic, the new Beetle or the A5, but we can see a little border right here. 
and I really have no idea what this is going to be about. Now we, from the leaked scene, we can also see that the steering wheel has a glowing Volkswagen logo. I hope that can be adjusted accordingly and it is quite round which is suspicious like no steering wheel should be that round and small maybe it's just a point of perspective i'm not sure but it does look very 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 round and quite thick this model does seem to have a panoramic sunroof which is awesome because the beetle a5 does sometimes seem like a compact car and to be honest a big sunroof like this could really improve the whole experience and make the car feel more spacious. I'm not sure how it'll do in rollovers. Maybe that's what those big round plates are for. I don't know. Now, something that is also weird and quite suspicious is that the floor pedal is round. Me no like. Like, the Beetle pedal has always been floor mounted and it has never been round. The only things that are very round on cars are usually on the Minis. That is like one of their signature moves. So, that I don't think that should be on the Beetle. Now the door is something that is quite interesting. So it seems like it's very transparent, but it does seem to have like some sort of chemical or electricity that can make the door go semi-transparent or full transparent. I have no idea. It's very hard to tell from here, but the door seems to go all the way to the back, which makes it easy for the access of the back seats. I absolutely love that design and it's actually very clever because the Beetle E5 and the new Beetle, and even the classic Beetle, have pretty big doors, but going to the back, well, it's a little uncomfortable. But having the door open all the way to the back is a pretty clever design, if it only opens all the way up, because if you have that huge door opening to the side, well, you're not gonna get inside the car in any tight parking spaces. So it's very clever, and at the same time, it's not very clever, but it is interesting because it's full glass, and maybe it can be blurred. I'm not sure, but it, it is a pretty interesting choice. Now that we have seen everything we can from the interior, now let's work to the exterior. And this car is defined in one word. It's just weird. For the exterior, we can actually see a real life concept which was captured on friends, but it looks a little too cartoonish. I'm not sure. It's weird and that's a start. It's quite different than unconventional. It, it looks like it looks more like the new Beetle than the Beetle A5 or even the classic, but it's it's weird. The front is weird. There is no classic, you know, that bulge that all the Beetles have from the hood. And there seems to be, not even be a hood to open, which is odd. Maybe that's a thing because it's a concept and, you know, car designers usually go a little nuts when they do the concept. So and also the lights seem to be fake. So that also seems quite weird. The Volkswagen Insignia does light up, which is kind of nice, I guess, but it's still, it still, it just looks too weird in many things. The bumper does seem to be a bar of plastic, which seems to be a callback to the classic Beetle and the Beetle A5's bumper, which had this bar on the front and the classic one had it on the back, so <laughs> it looks weird, to be honest. It, it just, it's trying to do that callback, but it just looks a little weird not going all the way to the edges and kind of going inside one of these holes, which is my next point. Why the holes? Just why do you have those big round holes in there? It just, they just look like huge bullet holes. Like, why would you do that? When you could have gone the design route of the Beetle A5 for ventilation, if that's what you needed, that just looks really weird and kind of off-putting, just not my thing. From the side profile, it just looks weird. It doesn't have enough, well, snout. And hear me out, all the Beatles usually have the bulge, which is on the hood, and the hood should be what sticks out on the front, not the actual fenders. I may get used to it, but I'm not that big of a fan there. The wheels seem to have been an odd choice. They have like these five round holes. Once again, the thing with the holes, it reminds me a bit of those GTI wheels, but hey, they are low profile. So that's Beetle A5 style, which means great handling. But ah, I'm not sure about those wheels. They, they just, eh, I'm not sure. The front windshield sits flush with where the hood would end, which is interesting and kind of aerodynamic. But to me, that that windshield is sitting way too far in the front. It, I like how it looks. It sits far too, too ahead in the front. So you see like there's very little, again, like snout 
like the beetle the original beetle had all the space which you could actually store things had a functionality and it also made the car look pretty nice but this small thing from the windshield to the bumper just makes it look like one of those smarts it just doesn't work for me so i do like how aerodynamic it looks and how round it looks it looks kind of like those super beetle windshields so that's nice i like how it looks like the windshield how it looks not the actual lack of snout but i like how the windshield looks but here's an interesting thing there's a pillar in between that makes this smaller windshield which you can see right here kind of reminds me of the window of the classic beetle which you would open for refreshing so that's pretty interesting to be honest now the mirrors <laughs> they're way too small on the bottom we don't have that black plastic lines like the classic or the beetle a5 that's disappointing like that is something that to me is missing it and it's needed on the beetle to make it a beetle but yeah, it, I can live with it. It looks it looks okay, I guess. I would have loved to have those black lines in there, especially with all the black accents the car already has. The back has that C pillar and the fenders that continue on the back. The lights are the new Beetle style, which I dislike. They're just round, but just like the front, they appear to be fake. We also have a spoiler, like the new Beetle and the Beetle A5, which is nice. And we have the Volkswagen emblem back there. There's really nothing you can do with the emblem from what I can see here. The lower bumper also seems to be a bar of plastic, which calls back to the classic, but again, I, I don't know. It's, it's just weird. Now, here are my thoughts on the vehicle now that we have covered the design and all. Keep in mind, these are my own opinions, so here we go. I'm not too happy with it. It calls back too much to the new Beetle, which I personally dislike for many reasons. Things I particularly dislike about this car, those awful holes in the front, like, I just still don't get it. And the bumpers could use a little more presence, I don't know, they could have made them a little larger. The tail lights look like the ones from the new Beetle, not my thing, I don't like those round ones, like, you're, you're making them round in the front and you're making them round in the back, like, where's the, where's the difference, honestly? Just the color. They need to have a flat side for me to like. And it's also missing those plastic bars on the sides, which I dislike. Those are really needed. The snout again is too short, needs more snout. And it looks way too bubbly. It needs that profile that the Beetle A5 used from the classic, in which it has this line and then it curves down to the fastback style on the back, but not this bubbly thing, which is completely round. It needs a little more of the line and then the incline. So, but after scripting this and seeing it a lot on my pictures as I was writing this down, it has grown on me a little bit, but it's still not something I see myself buying. Like this is, this is not an upgrade for, from my Beetle A5, to be honest. It does have so many things that I like, like the huge doors for easy access on the back are actually, well, brilliant. If they work, theoretically, they are brilliant. The sunroof, which makes it roomier, that is something that I absolutely loved. And the black pillars, which make for a hat-like style hood, which makes it look more modern, as you can see in the front, that I actually loved. The round windshield, which reminds me of the Super Beetles back in the day, that is something that was pretty nice. And overall, I'm somewhat okay with it. Not my favorite Beetle, though, and definitely not one I would buy. Maybe if I saw it in blue, I would change my mind or a more sportier version that looks more like the A5. I just don't get why didn't they just modernize the, the Beetle A5. Like, the A5 sits beautifully with the current lineup. Like, that's how well it has aged. Just some lights and updating here and there and you got something nice. Like, take some things that you have done here on this concept and just slap them on the Beetle A5 and you got a new Beetle, a new Beetle there. Not a, not a new Beetle, just uh, a newer, Ah, oh, come on. And you have the ID bug there. Just modernize the A5. This is, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Overall, it looks like the Beetle could be back. Hopefully, it'll make a triumphant return. I'm not sure. This is not what I expected. I just hope something nicer comes down the line because this is not my favorite. But it does seem like a good car that has improved on the many problems of the previous ones, especially the doors and the sunroof. I'm happy that the Beetle is finally getting some attention. I'm not sure this is the attention I would have wanted that the Beetle would have gotten. This is definitely not the reaction I was expecting from myself. But if this is the best they could come up with, I'm not sure. 
I would want that much attention for this card. Could be seen as a joke by the card community. I I'm not sure. So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. We can have a healthy discussion about this beetle concept. Who knows? Maybe do you like it? Do you hate it? Will you buy one? Would you buy one? Let me know. Do you think this will become a reality for starters? And I also wanted to take this moment to say thank you for all the support. I've seen all the many subscribers coming in and I I cannot believe the, um, the incredible amount of support that I've gotten in the last few months on that one video. So thank you so much everyone. I have not read all the comments. I know there are a lot of hot takes and a lot of corrections. I apologize for not responding. I've been very busy with Calculus 2. And for those of you who took Calculus 2, you know how hard it is. I made this video because this is something that I wanted to speak of while it's going around the news. And uh, thank you so much. So this has been The Beetleman. Have a great day and God bless you. And thank you so much for watching.